You can't tell by our camera position, but there's a huge crowd already lined up down the street. This was supposed to be a private invitation only funeral, but the families decided to let about a thousand fans in to attend what will be a giant celebration. This morning, Detroit paying its final R-E-S-P-E-C-T to one of its giants. Last night, at a people's tribute to the Queen, it was, of course, music that took center stage. The Four Tops and other performers celebrating Franklin's life with 6,000 fans who gobbled up coveted free tickets in about 10 minutes. You can't go to the funeral, so you feel like you go to all the celebrations. That makes you feel like you're a part of it. Patti LaBelle paying tribute in a pre-recorded performance. Franklin's grandchildren, inspired by how many people the Queen of Soul touched. It's heartwarming to see all the love and all the support that you guys give us. Earlier, a viewing at her father's church where she grew up singing gospel. Titans of entertainment and beyond descending on the Motor City today for her funeral. From Stevie Wonder, Jennifer Hudson, and Ariana Grande, to Cicely Tyson and Tyler Perry, to former President Bill Clinton, to name just a handful. While she certainly lived among the movers and shakers, fans say Aretha Franklin always stayed true to them. I feel her spirit here in the city, and I'm with her, with her and her family and all her fans. As many as 100 pink Cadillacs are expected to line up outside Greater Grace Temple today, a high-octane salute. Aretha Franklin's powerful voice stayed strong and relevant for nearly six decades. She brought former President Barack Obama to tears once. He and the former First Lady sending their regrets to the family, a letter to be read by the Reverend Al Sharpton. Her gift, now ours, to enjoy time and again. The funeral program is chock full of A-list singers and speakers. Some of these speakers not necessarily known for brevity, so we'll see if they keep to the time. As it stands, this funeral is scheduled to go five hours. <laughs>